Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm going to video a little bit of my workout today. I'm going to do chest. Uh, it was between chest and legs and today I kind of feel like chest. So, uh, uh, let's go ahead and get on to it. That's not going to be anything amazing, but yet it will be amazing. So, we're going to start off with some incline dumbbell presses. And I'm going to jump right on to the 50s. So let's get that done. doing one warm-up set now from here we're just gonna jump up to the 80s I don't play around too much of warming up too much because I get worn out really quick because number one, I'm older. Number two, I work out every single day, ride a bike every day and walk. And also I have damaged shoulders and stuff like that. So they get worn out really quick. So I just kind of get into my working sets really quick. So let's get these 80s. Whenever you do inclines, for me anyways, whenever I sit down, I make sure to get the dumbbells closer up to my knees. That way you get a better kick to get them up and get them into position. And uh, whenever I do flat dumbbell presses, I have them closer uh, to the tops of my legs. And then I go back uh, with both legs pretty much and it just kind of rolls them back into position so that's how I do it let's get these hundreds I'll go ahead and put my gloves on if these handles were like uh, the fatter ones on my rubber coated dumbbells. I probably wouldn't use gloves very often, but uh, there's the thinner bar, so. <clears throat> They're almost heavy. Woo! 
no matter how many times you do them once you get to 100 pounds it's heavy even at my biggest and strongest 100 pound dumbbells earned my respect So I'm gonna do one more set of inclines with the 100s. Then we're gonna to switch to flats. And I know I've made a video before uh, doing my chest workout, but you know, uh, you might need inspiration today and you might get to this video before you get to another video so if this helps you in any way that's what it's for No joke, guys. Now, some of you, when you're going to switch positions, like right now I'm going to flat, you might start back out at maybe 50 pound dumbbells or so. But a lot of times I like to keep going with the heavier weight because even though I'm breathing hard right now, I still have more energy uh, and strength now than I will two or three sets from now. So I might as well go ahead and get the heavier weight done and just work my way down if I choose to. So let's get these flat presses.
One thing that's good about starting heavy is sometimes you tend to stick with the heavier weight instead of going down because you see that you can still get you know maybe six reps and if you're getting six reps then that's a good working set so if you can get like one set of eight to ten and then another set of maybe six to eight and then maybe six and then another six or so to me that's better overall than going back with a lighter weight and plus in my situation my next lightest weight is an 80 pound dumbbell so but that's not too bad so going down to 80s isn't bad but it's just kind of something i do everybody does things differently so so let's get another set of these hundreds So see right there, I've got, as far as flat bench, two good working sets with the 100s. I still have two more sets to go. And since I got eight, both sets, I might as well go for another set and see what I get. Two more sets to go so most likely I am gonna stick with the 100s so I imagine my reps are gonna go down to six I'm gonna try and push them out but we'll see I think I got seven. If I include my get up, my start, I think that's seven. And I think I did the start well enough that I'm gonna count it. 
when I review this footage, I'll make a decision on that. But I got seven, so I'm at least gonna, I'm gonna do my last set of 100s as well. Because I feel like I'll get at least, I feel like I'll get six. Let me catch my breath for a second. Get some water. Let's get that last set of 100s. I think that might have been seven again. Again, I'll check the footage. Even if those last two sets were six, I don't care, that's really good, so I don't care. But I'll make sure to correct it on my papers and stuff too, so. But I wanna make sure after I look at the footage Sometimes getting those dumbbells from the floor over to the bench and set, you know, set up properly on your legs, uh, wears you out more than the pushing of the, of the dumbbells. My next exercise is going to be flat flies. I am going to go ahead and start with 40s on these because I'm definitely warmed up already. So, I hope you're sticking in there. Hope you're getting a workout with me. Hope I'm inspiring you just a little bit. I hope my camera angle is okay for you. I normally, the, the couple of times I've videoed in here, I mean, working out, I don't usually just have this. So I'll usually I'll move it around or even use multiple cameras. But I thought, why not just try this? One angle here, see how it does. Uh, the worst part about it is you're not getting like an up close view of the weights and how much I'm doing, or maybe different angles uh, to see how I'm doing it or something. But you know. We'll see how it goes. You can leave in the comments what you think. So let's get these flies.
Now, just like on my incline presses and flat presses, also whenever I sit down to do the flies, I get them on my knees uh, where they need to be. So since I'm doing a flat dumbbell fly, I bring them up closer to the top of my legs. So that way when I go back, they're like right there at the kind of upwards of my legs and they just kind of go back. If you had them up towards your knees, it'd be a lot more of this bringing them back, you know? Uh, so you get a little easier uh, put in position depending on how you place the dumbbells. I'll move you over here for this one. Thing you'll notice whenever you start working out uh, especially with dumbbells you can move the dumbbells just a fraction of an inch in your hands kind of forward or back in your palms or side to side just a bit and it can make all the difference in the world and it feels different so it's not just a matter of gripping different it actually targets everything differently just a fraction of an inch so so that's something to think about uh, whenever you're doing uh, what I find especially with flies because it's kind of a nice slow controlled movement you can kind of pay attention to that stuff so yeah, anywhere in your palm, you might let the dumbbell roll back into your fingers a little bit or or just the slight, slight changes. And even just very slight movements in your, uh, how you're holding your arms compared to your hands and the dumbbell. And just the slightest moves, adjustments can, can make it feel totally different and in some cases, even more comfortable to you. So let's go ahead and do uh, another set of 40s. Yep, we'll get one more set of 40 guys. And then a lot of times I like to throw in maybe an extra set or two of something once I'm done, just to give me a sense of, I don't know about accomplishment, but just it makes you feel good to know you went just a step beyond 
And uh, so I may do like another set or two of something. We'll see how it goes. My shoulders are feeling a little tired, but we'll see. Get this last set of these done. Notice I got the weights sitting up real high towards my waist. guys I'm glad you're hanging in there with me we are almost at 30 minutes but guess what working out takes a while and if you're gonna watch every bit of a workout it takes a while you know instead of just cutting from exercise to exercise or speeding through it or something which I might do a little bit in the video uh, it takes a while so it's the way it goes Right now, at this very second, I'm feeling stupid and froggy. So we're fixing to grab those hundreds again. Extra. I told you, I get crazy sometimes. Let's get the camera over here. There you go. Here's my extra set. Guys, Woo! I got an extra set of eight. Let's take a look. That's not bad. Woo! It wears you out, that's for sure. Well guys, we're heading into 32 minutes now. I hope you hung in there. I hope you, you got something positive out of this. Maybe I helped you a little bit and uh, getting through your day. All right, check out the playlist. It has everything in there from videos like this to everything in the world that you wouldn't even think of. 
okay? Whew. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Also, like, share, subscribe, comment on my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. I haven't live streamed in probably a week or two now, but I'll be back on there. It's still nice to uh, get in there and watch me kick some butt, you know, has some, right now I'm playing Halo 3, so. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all right? Help my channel, help me to grow, all right? Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and be an inspiration to someone throughout your day, your week, your month, or year, and your life. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!